Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Car Security. Welcome to another Car and Coffee Morning here at CAS HQ. Today is a Porsche event organized by my good friend Sean, who runs a page called Ren 11. Fantastic page, so if you don't follow him, give him a follow now, we'll drop a link below. Cool collection of Porsches outside, air-cooled, water-cooled, 70s up to 2020. So we'll go outside, have a look at some of the cars, and we'll speak to some of the owners. And we'll, we'll ask them about the journey of their car and what they've done to the car. So you know what? Let's go. Okay, let's start with something that's close to my heart, a 964 for obvious reasons. And I'm standing next to this lovely green, I don't know what shade of green, but Joe. Here's Joe. Hello, Joe. Hey, Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to tell us what shade of green Forest this, green this is. Forest, Forest green, green 964, slammed on the floor. So let's, let's talk about this car, Joe. So Indeed. How long have you had this? Uh, since December. Last year? Last year, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so fairly new acquisition. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Something that you wanted, a 964 or? Yeah, I had a little eye open for a while for 964. Okay. So sort of, yeah, and this, this popped up and uh, yeah, thought it was a bit of me. So yeah, so when, um, when I got it, the air ride was done, the stereo install was already done. Okay. Uh, the stereo was something that yeah, I would have had done. The air okay. ride, probably not. Wasn't okay. my intention to keep the air ride, uh, but having driven it, was actually really impressed with it. Okay. So the airlift stuff's amazing. I was really, yeah, good, really good, impressed. Good, good, good. Yeah, happy to keep it. So, so yeah. that means it's been installed correctly and professionally and it's been set up, because that's the most yeah. important thing is a setup. Um, Engine-wise, modifications, anything you've done? Mate, so, so I mean, it's, it's had a, a mild rebuild, um, but it's yeah. Otherwise, it's a stock, yeah, 250 brake, 964 C2 as it comes out the box, which yeah works quite well. And you drive it hard, obviously. Yeah, yeah. As they should be. Drives really well. Yeah. Wheels. So yeah, I mean, those are those are really recent. So uh, it had some sort of replica, old school Fook type style wheels okay. on it when it was for sale, uh, and then these came up uh, three or four weeks ago. Put together out in the states for a C2, so, oh, they so fit these you bought on. from the states or from here? No, no. So the guy that had them in the UK, okay, had them built out in the states, and they were, uh, yeah, specifically built for a C2. So they literally... yeah, they do look very nice, and the dish on the back is just yeah, insane. Uh, is it open? Yeah, yeah, it's open. Yeah, yeah. Um, Interior-wise, got to say it's very clean inside. The so green carpets is uh, unusual, which is uh, yeah, factory green carpets and factory green to match the exterior, I guess. That against the linen works quite nicely. Yes, it does. It does. Uh, any other plans for the car? Yeah, there's, um, yeah, it's booked, in, it's booked in for a bit of a colour change, but I'll keep that under my hat. So, uh, wow, wow. We'll, we'll see how I'm that surprised comes with that. It's, uh, yeah, so we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, they did, they did a nice little stereo install on this as well. So it's, that's, it's got a little sub box on, uh, they've used the space under here. Okay. Quite, which is quite clever. Oh, uh, so in the glove box and underneath the glove box yeah, as so, well? Yeah, so this, this box here, and they've used the space on there to get the, get enough uh, air into the box. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he said he's doing a colour change. It's taking me back. I was going to say, yeah, he's doing yeah. <laughs> Colour change. Okay, so that means you're going to have to change the carpet as well. Have you factored probably, that in as well? I'm probably going to have to change the carpets, yeah. Okay, because if you went speed yellow with green carpets, that probably wouldn't be Might right. Might clash a bit. Might clash a bit. Okay, anyway, Joe, thanks for coming. No Lovely worries. car. Cheers, um, guys. Interesting to follow this now, so we're going to have to follow this journey, what he does with this, because actually <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised it changed the colour. But anyway, thanks for coming down, mate. Appreciate no it. Thank you. Cheers. Serious, you're doing a colour change. Okay, so moving away from air cooled onto water cooled, we are next to this lovely 997 Gen 2 GT3, which belongs to my good friend Zaid. Have I pronounced that correctly? Yeah, you have. Of course. Um, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Talking about this car, recently acquired? Yeah, I got it four or five months back. I had my 1M, I sold that. Wanted a Porsche, lucky enough to be around them all the time, so I had yeah. one of my own, and yeah, it came about. It was the right colour, and yeah, here we are. What colour is this? It's very creatively named Dark Blue Metallic. Okay. Dark it is Blue what Metallic, it says guys. On the tin. It literally is what it says on the tin. It's <laughs> that dark is blue exactly what it looks like. Are the wheel colours, is that standard wheel colour? It's champagne, they're not, they're from the TRS. Okay, but okay. The previous owner luckily done it. Centre locks, obviously on the Gen 2s. Exactly. 
very nice looking car. So interior wise, just the standard competency. It's probably going to get some carbon backs at some okay. point. But yeah, we'll see. And any other modifications, exhaust? It's stopped. It is stopped. It's stopped. Under warranty, just as it was when it left. Oh, I see. It's under warranty. Sorry, guys. But obviously, when the warranty runs out, you're going <laughs> yeah, to modify yeah, the hell out of it. Oh, yeah. Everything yeah, that yeah, works. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Good chat. Good. It's going to become a good customer of ours. For sure. Um, now, the audience may not know, but what do you do for a living? What is your day job? So I'm a creative consultant, so I make content for brands, so yep. social, marketing, whatever, okay. pre-product launch. So yeah, like I said, I'm lucky enough to be around Porsches because I- And what were you driving only a couple of weeks ago? A couple of weeks ago, what was I driving? Wasn't that the 992 GT3? I was indeed, I was driving the 992 GT3. Uh, very very envious of that boy. because I've not had an opportunity to drive one. So uh, for you guys, if you follow Zaid, what is it, Zaid? Uh, the Zaid Chronicles. Give him, a, give him a follow on Instagram and look at the cars he drives because he makes me jealous. I'm, I'm a lucky boy, but you get to own them, so hey. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. You get to drive them. I don't even get to drive them. <laughs> Thanks for coming again. My pleasure. Thank Lovely you. car, and Thank I'll you. see you again soon. For sure. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Hey, Henry. Ah, uh, what's up? How's it going, mate? I'm good. Looking at some Porsches. I just wondering, what is your favourite Porsche here today? Uh, that's a tough one. There's a lot of nice Porsches here. Probably Billy and Sarah's Porsche 993 Gembala, which is over there, that black one there. Ooh, so that's that the one. That's the one for me. Okay, I'm going to go have a look at it now. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay guys, staying with uh, the water cool theme, I'm next to a 997. This is a C2, hold on, it's a C2S. I've been told I've got to emphasize the word S for obvious reasons. It's in red, which shade of red I don't know, but we'll ask the owner. Sonia, <laughs> hey, thank Raj. you for coming. My pleasure. Okay, so first and foremost, yes. it's red. God's red. God's red. That's okay. very important, yeah, God's red. I know. Yeah. God's red and an S. And an Okay, hold on. What's the difference between a, a C2 and a C2S? Do, do you know? The, I'm sure you know the difference. Well, my, my from a sports, yeah. you get loads of extras. Okay. Sports, but this particular one, you get the sports short shift. Okay. Um, and which is not normal to an S. I've got the factory PCCBs. Yeah, that's which makes it very different. Very rare, that is. Yeah. Very rare. I know there's a lot of controversy in terms of should you take them off, take the timers off, put the normal back on. I like the sound, yeah. so it's all right. But personally, for me, I prefer prefer it on. Okay, so were you always after a red polar red? Is that what you wanted? So I was driving another Porsche, a 996 in Guards Red. Okay. I'd never actually been a fan of Guards Red before okay. that, but when I saw it on 997, for me, it's the best color on a 997. Okay, and uh, you already had a magazine feature with this car, haven't you? Yes, I have. So what was that pitted against? So it was the 997 Gen 1 yep. versus uh, the 991 and the 992, all Gen 1s. Okay. To compare all the Gen 1s and my car, obviously. Were they all manuals? They were all manuals, yep. And this car, your car won. And what differentiated your car from the other two? Why did this car win? Do you know why? So it's got the, when you think about the engines and you think about all the changes that has been done on the 991 and the 992 and you've got a little bit more electric. Yeah. Um, so this is what we are defining as the last of the real Porsche. So it's more of an analog drive, isn't it? Exactly. Before you start getting into sort of digital era. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Um, and how long have you owned this car? About, I want to say about five years now. Five years. Five years. And uh, I, obviously I have some other cars in the garage, but this one, uh, I'll always stick with Porsche. There has to be at least one Porsche in the garage. Keeping it, time for a change or? I am looking at time for a change. Okay. I am a big fan of the air cools. Okay. Um, so I think I will revise my garage shortly. Yep. Um, but as a woman in Porsche, I will always stay with one Porsche. Okay. Well, I've got to say it's a lovely looking car. It guards red. It's a C2S. Remember the S. Uh, Sonia, thank you for coming. My pleasure. And thank I will you see you again soon. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.
Going back to the air cool theme, a car which is just absolutely iconic. Forget 964s, forget 992 GT3s, forget 991 GT3s. We are talking about a 356 and a real 356. So this belongs to Al. Hiya, how you doing? You right? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for bringing this down. Pleasure. Now, I've already asked him off camera, is this a real 356 or is this a recreation? So yeah, it's a real 356A. It's the real deal. Um, wow. Fraser Nash at Islesworth. Uh, it came on the 9th of April, 1959. Okay. Um, it was restored back in 2010. So how long have you owned this car? Uh, five years nearly. Okay, so it was restored before you purchased yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. So, um, and restored in the UK? Yeah, we're still in the UK with a guy just outside the main stone. Okay. I've actually got a 55A that I'm restoring as well. Okay. To make it a bit GT spec. Cool, so cool. I love them. Fashion grey. This is not factory colour though, is it? No, it was a special factory colour back uh, back then. I think it was, a, it was a older, it was an older colour basically. So it's period correct. Period, period correct, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've got to say, <laughs> it looks stunning. Absolutely does look stunning. So it's got, I uh, managed to get some like matching luggage last year. So I found some fabric in the same we'll have a look at that. And uh, yeah, I've got, there's a, a little compartment in the front there. Oh so. wow. It's a, it's a joy to drive, absolutely. I can imagine. So previously, Somebody's gone to town on the exterior, yeah. the interior, because that's all been retrimmed yeah, as well. that's right, yes. The engine, has that been worked on? Uh, yeah, so this is a loan engine from PRS Services up in Billericay. Fantastic, okay. 356 guys. Okay. So my engine's been rebuilt again, so... Okay, so just bring up like they've given you a loan engine while loan you're getting engine, your... Yeah. Okay. So that service so I've never heard of that before, that's a new one. Give you a loan engine while yeah, they're exactly. getting that rebuilt. Uh, I've got to say, mate, this just looks fantastic. Really, really appreciate you bringing this car Pleasure. out. No, Even though it rained a little bit on doesn't matter. earlier earlier on, the fact that it's here is just super amazing. But yeah, um, I've been to Belgium in it and you know, it's up to the Cotswolds. I'm assuming this is a keeper. Yeah, I'll, I'll never sell this. It's good to hear. I'll never sell this. If I own this car, <laughs> I'd never sell this as well. Al, thanks for bringing My it down. Pleasure. And thanks for coming on the camera. No worries. Thank you. Lovely Cheers. show. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Guys, thanks for watching another fantastic REN 11 meet here at Cardiff Security. Possibly the last REN 11 meet of 2021 here, because ultimately the weather's going to turn and a lot of the classic guys are going to park their cars up. Now, as always, make sure you like, very important. Subscribe, even more important. Any comments, any questions, drop them down below. There will be further events going on probably into November. We've got some BM meets already lined up. Now, from me, appreciate you watching. Sean, thank you very much for organizing this event again. To me, over and out.